Good afternoon. A fire broke out on a ferry on its way to the Isle of Wight this morning. The Coast Guard was called to the White Link car ferry, which was in the middle of the Solent at 9.30. All 52 passengers were removed safely and no one was injured. The vessel had left from Portsmouth and was heading to Fishbourne. It looks like there was a fire external to the vessel on board, which was very quickly dealt with by crews, which enabled the captain to be able to dock the vessel here at Fishbourne and ensure that passengers were able to safely get off the vessel. Surrey County Council is to hold a referendum about a 15% rise in council tax. It would add £200 per year to the average bill to pay for the growing crisis in social care. The authority is already facing a budget shortfall of £45 million. Meanwhile, a massive shake-up of councils in Oxfordshire is being proposed. Under the plans, all six councils will be replaced by one county-wide authority. Up to 400 people could be out of work. Oxfordshire County Council says it will be simpler for residents and help improve public services. The proposal is about creating a new authority for Oxfordshire. That's one authority that will be dealing with all the services for residents because it is confusing for people. They don't know which service is with which council. And of course, one of the key facts about this is it will save over £20 million per annum. And you can find out more about the changes on our website. Head to itv.com forward slash meridian. 45 firefighters have battled a blaze at a workshop in Dorset. It happened at the property in Winterbourne Abbas this morning. Electricity supply to the village was cut off for a time for safety reasons. A new leader for the Isle of Wight Council was elected last night. David Stewart, a Conservative, takes over from Jonathan Bacon, who quit alongside his deputy, citing pressures from the government's continued austerity cuts. A joint operation by Thames Valley and Hampshire Police has caught more than 150 drivers distracted at the wheel. A person was caught eating cereal on the M27, while another was found shaving. The five-day operation was carried out on the A34, M27, M3, M4 and M40. Let's take a look at the weather now with Helen Plint. From puddles to paddling, driving through Europe, Eurotunnel the Shuttle sponsors ITV Meridian Weather. Hello again, a very good afternoon to you. Well, the good news for many is despite a frosty start first thing this morning, well, plenty more winter sunshine on offer this afternoon, especially in southern spots. You can see towards the north the chance of a veil of cloud here throughout the afternoon. This may just help to keep the temperatures up, though, a little breezy along coastal spots. But, well, for all of us, it won't feel mild by any stretch of the imagination. Still on the raw side, and that's how things stay throughout this evening and overnight. So at least it will be a fairly quiet one. But temperatures once again well below freezing, a widespread sharp frost so crispy and crunchy underfoot by first thing tomorrow morning but nevertheless plenty more sunshine to come throughout the day bye for now euro tunnel the shuttle sponsors itv meridian weather fred and sangeeta will be here at six with the itv news in the meridian region join them then if you can but from the lunchtime team have a good afternoon bye bye